This is Twit. Mateo, I think your app was also called out by Google on the uh, Best of 2020 Awards. I didn't check it out, though. Um, yes. So the Reface app is an app uh, which essentially allows you to take a selfie or to take a picture of yourself and share the outcome of replacing your face with a celebrity's uh, face <laughs> and come up with some funny uh, funny outcomes. And it allows you to not only save the videos as videos, but also as animated GIFs or GIFs, depending on your, your regional pronunciation. So the Reface app is one of those apps that many have jumped on the privacy bandwagon saying, oh, you're just uh, training some AI system to recognize me better in the upcoming next regime uh, of evil people. But uh, let's face it, it's just there for the giggles. And it is hilarious. Some of the clips they get, they license from celebrities, from movies. Uh, it's just a, a good bit of fun in my view. And Burke, Jason, I think if you check your email, I've shared some examples of refaces that are available. I've re refaced myself in them. And you can pick things like, for example, The Great Gatsby uh, or scenes from Love Actually. Replace your, fa your face uh, over the one of a celebrity that's uh, in, in that movie or TV show. Uh, it's particularly disturbing if you do things like uh, replace uh, your face on on the face of someone like Kylie Jenner, who I'm told is not a Cardassian or Bajoran, uh, but one of those people, the celebrities that I'm not really aware of. And it can be quite disturbing. So this is me as the great Ga oh, as Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to it's that. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's really well done. <laughs> wow. wow. There's some similarities, I got to say. <laughs> some real good deep fake going on here. It is. No and kidding. The fact that this is, this is available as an app, uh, obviously, yeah. if you do more than three or four a day, you have to watch an ad or you have to pay to unlock the premium version to do many, many new ones. Um, it's It's quite amusing. And it was one of the things that I think in 2020 we needed to have a smile, have a laugh, whilst we're all locked at home. So this is my face uh, superimposed over Hugh Grant in Love Actually. Uh, after Die Hard, one of the best movies of uh, Christmas movies of all time. Uh, so that's just one okay. example. And this is can my I, face can I stop over you Kylie right? Jenner. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, Mateo, this is okay. I got to check this app out. Can we go back to Love Actually for a second? This is totally unrelated to Android. Wow, but but this is uh, this is one of those things where you know, like when you when you buy a new car or when you decide you're going to buy a new car, and then you look around and you see that everybody has that car. This holiday, I feel like, was one of those years where suddenly everybody had an opinion on Love Actually. Is this a movie I really need to see? Maybe we don't need to talk about it on an Android show, but you you brought it up. Is it a good movie? Because it seems like everybody's talking about it. And I've never seen it. I think so. It's one of those ones that uh, I think is quite deep. It makes you realize that there's a lot of people with different backstories, that it's everyone is a human being. And I think it also shows off some of the best things about uh, the multicultural society we live in in the UK. Uh, it's one of those films that shows some ugly realities, but it also... Uh, gives you some good laughs and food for thought, as well right. as having a an open ending, and as well as being uh, being a movie that you too can star in if you uh, put the app Reface <laughs> on your Android device. <laughs> awesome! I'm happy you showed that off. I've been meaning to check yeah. out that app. And uh, thanks to Bert for showing me off as Kylie Jenner. There we go. <laughs> hey, you too. Keeping me, up Kylie with the Kardashians Jenner. and the Bajorans. <laughs> awesome. Reface wow. is the name of that app.